Okay, hello everyone. So I'm back and it's actually Thursday, not Tuesday. So as uh, you saw, I was working on the car on Monday and uh, yeah, just Tuesday, uh, too much was going on. I'm uh, currently home alone with the kids this week. Now other stuff, Wednesday also a lot of time went away and but I did get some uh, improvements to the frame here, which I will show you afterwards. And um, yeah, today is Thursday. Um, Thursday and um, I have filmed uh, the 10k subscribers video just now and was supposed to go inside and then just my back just went out uh, I had it two times before is uh, yeah so back is hurting, so the trip coming up is kind of in the in the balance. Um, but I will try and continue and just uh, yeah make it happen. So um, next up, before I can put on the on the plate, I need to uh, to start with the CB radio, and that's what I started. And the most difficult part is to get the the network cable to the front uh, uh, through the roof. So that's what I'm going to want to start with. Uh, and I want to um, yeah. So I just start with that I can show you where show you now the improvements I've done and also I'm gonna show you where I'm putting the battery and where I'm thinking of putting the CB radio and then I'm just gonna start with this so let's get to it okay so as you see the frame is uh, raised the lower beam there used to be the old one had to cut it to make room for the, the battery uh, and then add a, another layer on the sides and then uh, another layer is on top and the reason for that is that now I can put stuff a table or something uh, in here uh, or my cutting boards or anything I'm making like a shelf and also I can reach underneath here uh, the old plate I'm thinking of cutting here so with some hinges so I can open up and then get to it so the drawers will be in the same place as they have been but yeah CB radio mounted over there somewhere then I need to get the, the network cable up and forward to the center on top here but due to that that I have the roof windows it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, a challenge I think the network now the, the power is gonna be getting from here and also the, the signal cable to the antenna is going out behind the, the light then I'm gonna take it all the way up here through here and then up to the roof Ooh, back okay so I was thinking of uh, putting the radio over here somewhere so mounting it to the same bracket as uh, this is the parking aid module which is here so uh, that's my idea to put it somewhere here. <coughs> Maybe like so. And so. You can see the antenna and the power will go that way and then the network cable will go up here and then forward and to the center. Apparently this whole thing should uh, able to remove so just be careful okay let's see okay so take it in the front <laughs> but as you can see this uh, pins goes under here so and it pushes up so uh, with these so you want to get it loose in the front first and then slide it out this is where I want to be and this is so now it's just getting the cable from here and then to the to the rear and that is the module so probably could do like 
to see it. So in this, this is the, the sensor for the alarm. So probably could do like a hole here and then get the, the connection so I can use that. Uh, but I need to order that connection. Let's uh, see if we can get the cable through. Okay, so uh, pushing the cable was a bit optimistic. So I have this here, uh, this, uh, what's it called? Pre, I don't know, cable uh, something. So I'm gonna try and use that and then pull the, the and pull the cable through. So uh, let's try that out. I'm gonna try and pull the cable through. Let's see. Okay, so thread the cable down, see it coming out here. Now I can mount the CB radio. And I was thinking like something like this. But I need to find a good way to do that. Um, we have this bracket here. This goes like so. Maybe. So definitely need to add something to uh, to keep it from uh, making noise. But. Uh, that I can always fix later, but uh, yeah, let's get it mounted. To get access, uh, some. Uh, I think it's an M6 bolt, just uh, on the side. So I'm just using a washer, no, I'm using a nut. A nylon, which uh, is self-locking. So this is pretty nice here, so what I'm going to do is just add some padding. Uh, I got some rubber stuff uh, on like a 3M tape uh, with rubber, so I'm going to put that behind here. Also, I think 
something out around here, but it's sitting really nice there. Hopefully the plastic can can fit. I think it's going to be a room, so uh, hopefully that will work work out. Um, yep. Connection here, all the way around, like so. Then it's power and then antenna. So the next thing to do is to get the antenna out through the rear, up to the roof, uh, because that's the, the next difficult part. Okay, so this uh, is the antenna cable. This is a protecting, uh, I don't remember what it's called, um, but uh, the point is to protect the cable. This is mo your most important cable, so I'm just gonna push this through. Hopefully, I can get it through the whole thing. I got some uh, silicone spray to make it hopefully slide a bit easier. Let's just try and get the whole thing through. Okay, so is it? <laughs> it's almost in. Uh, so it was a bit difficult, even though with the, the silicon spray. So what I managed to do is uh, because uh, the this stretch, so you can do no, like so. You know, it's the same principle when you're uh, if you have like a. Uh, a pair of pants with uh, uh, with lacing like this, yeah, lacing like this. You, just <laughs> you get uh, what I'm, I mean. So this is all in, fits perfectly in this. Uh, I think it's five mil on the inside, or four and a half. It's supposed to be. That's it. Okay. Next up is to remove the tail light, and then you can start threading the the, the antenna wire. Uh, I'm just going to do that and I'm going to show you afterwards what I've done. Cable is going up there, going down, going out here. And then you can see these air vents. It goes from top here and down. So this is going to be, I think it's going to do something like this. Then it's going all the way up. And it's going between the tailgate, and you can see. It's gonna be just, that's why I wanted to use the, the small uh, or the thinnest uh, protection that I, I could use. And it's gonna go, and I think it's gonna go over to the other side or here. So I'm gonna put the antenna on this side or on that side so that it can be folded down. Did I just put the wire the wrong way? The antenna wire the wrong way? I probably did. So I'm just going to redo it the other way. So like so. Back isn't too good. So, but try and continue. Uh, see. So pulling the cable up here instead of down there because all of the wires going here with the power uh, with power. So trying to if I, if I can keep it up here, I can probably stay away from most. Let's see. So. It doesn't come pre-wired, so I need to uh, mount the plug. And if I remember correctly, you pull it like this, and then you pull it through, and then it shields itself somehow. So this one goes outside uh, on this side, and then this just screw it over the. Let's see, you can hit that. This way, the main comes up through here. Let's see if we can just bend it backwards and then screw it in. Okay, here you can see it a bit better. So you have the cable in uh, the outer layer is the shielding, uh, which you pull back and then you screw that on. The main cable goes through the middle and up into the center. I have just pulled it through. Uh, 
and then this will connect inside of we'll go inside here and hopefully that's going to make a good connection like so and then you can screw it on So it wasn't so easy with the radio here. That's pretty much it. If I get this um, connected to power, I can. Oh, antenna on top. Let's do that. Okay, so uh, this is the Pro Speed light mount bracket, uh, and I want to use that to mount the antenna, but. Antenna, where are you? Mount. This is just a little bit too big, so I need to bore it. Bore? Bore? Yeah. Widen it out. So let's do that. It's the only tool that I have that I think is big enough, so uh, hopefully it can handle the, the stainless steel. Nice. Perfect. This antenna screws on here. Nice. Okay, serial uh, CB antenna. Not sure. This will mount like this, and then I can raise it when I need to. Uh. Ah, never mind. <laughs> I uh, just uh, noticed that now, there is a kind of a special uh, something. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see there's two small holes. And this key actually is the... Nice! Not, not, it was smart. Yeah. Okay, let's get it onto the roof. I need to put it down the way. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking over here. And then I can just raise it up when, uh, when I need to. Okay, so uh, my camera just died, so uh, I don't know what, how much I got. But mounted the bracket using the same holes at the, as the, the plates. Got some extra support there on the plate, so that I think that's good. Fits perfectly here alongside the, the, the pipe, so this is going to be here and then go, uh, go that. The reason for not having it underneath is because I want to get the right angle on the on the wire going over here. So yeah, nice. So antenna is mounted. Using uh, when I get outside, I can raise it. This shouldn't be too high. No, it's lower than the and the max tracks, so it it should be okay. <laughs> okay. Next up is power 
power for a CB radio. Okay, so welcome to the back of the discovery. This is uh, <clears throat> the power uh, distribution here in the rear. Uh, so I haven't have a, I, I don't have a 12 volt, volt socket like aux power uh, in the rear. Uh, but I think this is actually the, the cable. So you can see, so if this is orange, there's also a room for adding a, a 12 volt hair, which is, I don't have, which I think is an extra that you can, uh, you can pay for when the car is new. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just mi missing the, the, the outlet actually. So I have 12 volt hair. This is uh, uh, is uh, controlled by the ignition, so it will turn on like the others. So uh, yeah, 12 volt. As the others do something else, they uh, they uh, what do they do? Yeah, they remove the relay, I think, and then they just put a wire. So this is going to be constant. But I don't want to do that. I will do that for something else, I think. <clears throat> but uh, here you can see there's another loose uh, loose wire and that's uh, uh, let's see if we can zoom in okay, so. so you can see this is the 12 volt for auxiliary output 12 volt and then you have this which is if you don't have climate in the rear this is the power to the climate in the rear so this is also a source of pow power. Just adding some heat shrink just to... I just want it uh, to stay put. So it's more about uh, the, c the connection not rattling loose than, uh, than it is to... the water intrusion or... yeah. Purple positive. And black negative. Like so. Okay. So in theory. Hello. Let's move this away. That's it. So in theory, I should be able to have a radio. That's it. Connection there. And I turn on the ignition. This should uh, this should power up. Uh, but I'm going to read the manual first and then see before I power up. Okay, so read the manual should be in order. Let's uh, just uh, turn on the ignition and then see if we can power up. To power, press pull. Where is poop? So I need to find a way to uh, hang this. Yes. So seeing where it's supposed to be down the bottom end, let's see here. You can see there's a bit of, now there's a bit of space there, so, but that should just run through and there's, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. CB radio is installed, how much, I, I cannot check it now, but I'm going to check it on the trip. 
uh, Perry has her in uh, his uh, CB radio, so we can check if it works. And uh, yeah, and he also got a uh, tool to check something. I don't remember, but uh, we are going to check that. So uh, yeah. Now done for today, I think, and then I'm going in to make dinner for the kids. Uh, continue tomorrow. Hopefully get the battery done. And then I can start on the trip tomorrow morning. No, tomorrow afternoon in around three. Perry gets off at three, so then we can start. So yeah, I guess I'll. Uh, that's it. Uh, I just need to work, so I don't have time to film everything. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say thank you for watching so far. And um, yeah, remember to when the trip episode gets out, remember to to check that out. And I will do walkthrough of what I've done uh, as well yeah. but yeah 10k I'm just gonna end with 10k and then uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't yet um, I don't have a goal for the don't have another goal that's that's it for goals um, I'm just gonna make uh, good videos and uh, if you like them please do subscribe and uh, hit the like button and comment down below then maybe more people can find the channel and and Patreon if you really like the content. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Uh, is it to the left or to the right? Oh, I'm not sure, I've never been down here. I'll be right. So I'm thinking, check out the uh, query, see if uh, how it is for possible camps, and uh, yeah, and if we can have lunch there. If not, we can go back to the place that uh, you were with uh, Jim. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I did see a vehicle over there in the distance. I don't know exactly where it was parked, uh, or if that is the place you're Yeah, it's coming up on our left now.